You want to define as many of the styles on your page as possible through the default styles. Um, default styles are found on this left tab here. Um, and you can, from here, globally change what all text on the page looks like, what all headings look like, etc. And uh, you'll want to do that as much as possible rather than selecting each of the text elements uh, or each element on the page and styling them individually. Um, normally, uh, you can do that. So, you know, you're always free to just select an element and say, I want this to be larger. Um, and there's a little blue dot now that indicates that it is different from the default styles. Um, but that's a lot harder to maintain and you can't just globally change a single place and have all the text throughout the page uh, update to reflect that. So instead, I'm going to remove that one-off style and you want to try and keep as many of the elements on the page as devoid of these one-off styles as possible. Um, and instead, I can change this globally just from the left. And just to show you uh, that in action, let's say I had a few more text elements. I'm going to duplicate this a few times. And uh, let's say that this top one, I'm actually going to uh, set to 16 pixels, just the same size, but now it's actually set um, rather than using the defaults. So now if I later want to change what the default font size is throughout the page, you know, these other two elements are updating fine, but not the um, not the top one because I had uh, set uh, overridden in style here. So I'm going to remove that and uh, you want to change as much of it, uh, these styles from the left hand side as possible. Um, same thing with headings. Let's say this, uh, instead of uh, black, I want it to be uh, semi-bold or what have you. You can change it all uh, globally. Uh, with mobile styles, it's a similar concept. Um, so uh, the first thing to know is that normally when you're setting styles, uh, you just want to make sure that those are being set on the right place. Um, like let's say I want this text element to be larger. Um, notice the, the text on desktop became larger as well. Um, and uh, that's because you know when you're changing things, um, it's it's by default editing the global styles. You have to record specifically an override for mobile if you want something to be specific to mobile. So let's say that now I'm going to change this to look a little bit uh, larger on mobile. That's not a very realistic example. Probably more realistic is like let's say I want headings to be smaller on mobile. So this one I want to be 64, or uh, maybe just a little more clearly, uh, 48. So I can do that, but again, this is you know doing it for each of the H1s I have on the page. So let's say I had another H1 on the page. I'm going to drag that down. Um, you know, I can set this one to be 48 and also set this one to be 48. Um, that's fine, uh, but you know that's tedious, and it's better if we can just set that globally. Um, so what I can do is I can say on mobile, all my H1s should have 48. Um, and that changes the setting globally.